Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, interesting show to get into today. Anthony Joshua, um, just a, a week out from his... Um, Fight with uh, Alexander Usyk signs a lifetime contract with Matru. Not sure that I fully understand that why they would do that. Uh, not 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 at this time. Um, yeah, I, I spoke to Eddie Hearn when Usyk fought uh, Chaz Withers from Chicago post fight press conference. Eddie said that Usyk could be any heavyweight in the world. Which would mean AJ, right? And he said that, and he said he could be any heavyweight in the world. Okay, that means he could beat AJ, and I agree. I, I do think Usyk will beat AJ. Um, so why would you sign up to a lifetime contract now? Like, it just seems weird to me. Uh, and 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 I I get why Eddie would want to sign a lifetime contract. I, why would Anthony Joshua want that? Anthony Joshua is the biggest star in heavyweight boxing. Besides Canelo, he's the biggest star in the sport. He's the Kevin Durant of boxing, right? Like LeBron's the biggest star. That's Canelo. And that, that is a clear second. It's him. It's like in basketball, it's a clear second. It's Kevin Durant. Why would he – a lifetime contract? The only thing I can ever remember in any sport that kind of resembles this. It's Magic Johnson after his rookie years had a 25 year contract with the Lakers. 25 years. But still, at that, there's a clear endpoint, right? I decided in 1980, so in 2004, whatever, it was over with. Whatever, do the math on that. Um, you know, it, it acted as a career signing, right? Because who's going to play longer than that? Um, but it wasn't. It was a clear expiration date on that. This doesn't have that. And they're really sketchy about the details. I've been scouring the internet, reaching out, trying to find information about the contract. And the details are very sketchy. Uh, AJ seems happy with it. So like the libertarian in me says, okay, fine, be happy about it. Then. If that's what you want, then do it. Um, I don't begrudge you for signing whatever you want to sign. I don't understand it, though. Right? <clears throat> I, I, I don't understand it. Why does he want to have a lifetime contract, right? Like that just basically means Eddie Hearn doesn't really have to do much work for him because there's no out, right? Like if Eddie Hearn just sits back on his, you know, sits back on his can, doesn't do anything, doesn't promote Anthony Joshua, Joshua has no recourse. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, the whole thing seems weird to me. How much? What's guaranteed? Nothing. There's been no details on this. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just, I want to see the details on this. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense why Joshua would sign this. And if Eddie Hearn says that Usa can beat him, which he did to me, um, why would he sign to a lifetime contract for a fight? Look, no one's that loyal. No promoter is that loyal. No one's that loyal. No promoter, I should say, no promoter is that loyal. It's all about the money, right? I think Anthony Joshua will always be a draw. And I don't know how much they guaranteed him. But if he can't beat Joshua, and he can't beat Fury, and he can't beat Wilder, which I don't think he can beat any of those guys. I mean, not that he definitely loses. I would pick all those guys to beat him. He's slow and mechanical. Yes, he's big. He's fundamentally sound. But he's slow. He's mechanical. He gets hit. He can get chin-checked. Like, he's got a lot of... 
She's got a lot of flaws. Yeah, she's a star. I like Anthony Joshua. I think he's great. He fights everybody. He doesn't fucking dodge nobody, right? He's a great guy. He's a great ambassador for the sport. He doesn't get in trouble. You don't find him with hookers at 3 in the morning, you know, in an alleyway doing coke. Yeah, he doesn't do anything wrong. He doesn't trash talk. He doesn't even curse like me. Right? I like Anthony Joshua. I think he's great for the sport. But he's not that great. He's not an unbeatable force. He's not an all-time great heavyweight. He's going to lose to Usyk. If he beats Usyk, he's definitely going to lose to Fury. Wilder knocks him out, right? Andy Ruiz, I think, beats him too. If Andy Ruiz doesn't come in at 400 pounds, Andy Ruiz beats him. I, you know, like he's not, he's, he's good. He's a good heavyweight. He's not all time great. He's not the best heavyweight in boxing. But he's, a, you know, so what I'm saying is, is Eddie, you know what I'm saying? If he loses those fights, which he will, what's the big deal? Like, why does Eddie want him? But I don't know what Eddie's guaranteed him. And, you know, Anthony Joshua is the second biggest star in the sport. Why does he want to be locked up for the rest of his career? To a guy who now doesn't really have to work for you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm obligated to him for the rest of my career. None of this makes any sense to me. This is really strange. Guys, let me know what you think. Does this lifetime contract seem really, really odd to you from both ends? It seems more odd to me on the Anthony Joshua side. Um, why Anthony Joshua would, would want that. Uh, until I find out how much. And, and oh, the numbers, is it a secret? They, they can't report the numbers? I don't know. I, I, I get it. If, if, if the numbers are conservative, then I get why Eddie would do it. But then really, if it's conservative dollar amount, if it's not astronomical dollar amounts and it's for the rest of your career why would AJ sign it none of this makes any sense to me guys leave your thoughts comments below please like and subscribe share on all forms of social media uh, please subscribe to the other channel as well Texas Boxing Scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery it is September 21st 2021 Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame let's make that change uh, from Texas to the world thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.